What is going on, Misfit Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Misfit Wrestling Podcast. I am your host, Matt, the Misfit. This is your SmackDown review for April the 19th, 2024. We get some unfortunate news that we're going to get to here at the start of the show because we do have three unfortunate releases from WWE today during SmackDown. I'm going to talk about that, plus I'm going to talk about the brand new WWE, the new beautiful looking WWE tag team titles that were unveiled tonight on SmackDown. Of course, we have the main event for Backlash officially confirmed as well as new number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Tamatanga tried to kill Kevin Owens. We're going to talk about that much, much more. Please hit the like button, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, youtube.com slash at Mystery Wrestling Podcast. You can follow the social medias, Pile Drive, Pulse on Twitter, Mystery Wrestling Pod on Instagram. You can also find the other audio outlets, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and Audible.com. Just type in Misfit Wrestling Podcast on all of them platforms, or you just go to our link tree, which will be in the description down below. All right, so we got to talk, unfortunately, about releases that happened during SmackDown. We found out that Jinder Mahal, who tweeted out simply on Twitter, I quit the Maharaja out money bag. Unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, come to find out, according to both Fightful and PW Insider, they had, he had been released from the company. Then, uh, about an hour or so, not, not an hour or so, but maybe a couple of minutes afterwards, Zia Lee posted up on Instagram and then took to Twitter saying, and the following. Let me, let me tweet this out here. That, I'm going to put this out here in a second. Give me a second. That she put out a tweet saying, thank you, WWE. Thank you, Triple H. W, thank you, WWE Universe. Weird spelling of it. She put out the uh, statement saying, it, ha- it has been over seven years since I joined WWE as the first female Chinese superstar. I feel uh, incredibly proud. I am ser- uh, sincerely gra- uh, grateful to WWE and Triple H for welcoming me, in, welcoming, welcoming, me, welcoming me into this big family. During this value time, I have not only grown tremendously, but I have learned countless uh, experiences Thank you for your thank you for your trust and opportunities to have you have given me to break barriers and set examples. A special thank you to all the coaches, colleagues, and staff who helped me along the way. Your support and assistance have made me feel at home in a foreign land. I want to. I also want to thank the WWE fans. You cheer. Your cheers are not only mo- not only motivate me but also make me. Feel endless love and support. Uh, you're, you're backing me. You're backing my strength. Your backing is my strength. This journey with WWE has been wonderful, and I sincerely th- thank everyone who has been a part of it. This is not the end, but I begin. But a new beginning. Let's embrace more exciting moments together, because it was f- confirmed by Fightful Select and. Uh, 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 Peter Munsire that Zaylee had been released. Unfortunately, she was one that I was actually very bummed about because I I really love Zaylee. She she I do think she deserved a little bit more than what they than what they did with her. Uh, but uh, I would love to see her 
go to stardom and mix it up with uh, Shiri. Or hell, if you want, because because the God's Eye uh, faction is basically like your is like a a mixture of a lot of mixed martial arts styles. Not so much of of Saki Kashima because she is not really known for that, but everybody else in there, like. Like, for example, let's, let's see who else is in that group here, because we'll talk about stardom next weekend, because uh, they got their big all-star Grand Queendom show uh, coming up, which, uh, by the way, the main event has been changed to a three stages of hell match between Micah and Momo Watanabe, which I'm, gonna, which I'm very excited for that. The first, I believe it's the first women's three stage of, stages of hell match. Uh, I could be wrong here. But anyway, so you got... Yeah, Sherry, obviously, a former mixed martial artist, but also a shoot boxer uh, and kickboxer. You know, you got that there. You have Konami, who, who is trained in kickboxing and mixed martial arts. Uh, obviously, Tomoka Enaba, uh, obviously known in the world of uh, Just Tap Out, does some stuff there. Um, you have... Uh, a Swedish wrestler who is also known for that style of things as well. Ami Sare does some of that stuff as well. So she would fit right into that whole thing. Mirai fit, fit when, in there when she was there. Now she's working for Rossi Ogallo's promotion. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, that's a good idea. Just put, take Xylee, take her to um, stardom and have her join. I almost had a whale of tie. Have her joined, jo- not joined, join uh, God's Eye, you know. Um, so I, li- I like that idea. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. We will see what happens. But again, it's unfortunate there that Xia Li was let go. Um, they weren't really doing much with her, which it sucks because uh, she had her one of her, her, probably her best match in WWE with. Uh, Becky Lynch because uh, again I feel like everyone has their best match with Becky Lynch somehow people who are not even good in the ring didn't have their best match with Becky Lynch because uh, Becky Lynch tends to bring out the best in a lot of people uh, and then the last name that was announced to be released which is not really surprising given that they had no plans and directions for this guy, this person, this person whatsoever, that being one uh, Zion Quinn. Um, Zion Quinn, who was drafted in the draft last year as a free agent from NXT. I, to my knowledge, let me see, let me look, because I don't know if, if he ever was actually used on, on, on a, on. WWE television has been called up. Let me look here. Let me go to the. No, he, okay, so, all right, so he's only like things he's been on since getting called up to the main roster was the Intercontinental Championship Battle Royal uh, spot to determine who would face uh, Gunther at. Uh, oh, God, what was it? Oh, God, what was it? Night of Champions. That ended up being Mustafa Ali winning that one. That was back in on May the 15th of last year. And then most recently, last month, the beginning of March, uh, he got he was killed by, <laughs> by Braun Breaker in six seconds. So yeah, not the most uh not the most um welcoming run, I guess, from Zion Quinn. So I I didn't really care much for Zion Quinn. I don't really, you know, I do hate it when people lose their jobs because it's kind of, it's a shitty thing here. And I've seen, and I've seen the people on, on social media. I'm not going to be one of those people saying, oh, Def Rebel should be fired because their music sucks. Just because their music sucks doesn't mean they should be losing their job here. And I've already seen people want to see Def, the other guys come back, CFOs. Why would you want to have CFOs who is probably even worse than uh, what the fuck is it? Then then death rubble just to have them 
replay if they do a loop over of the same song 30 seconds 30 seconds of the same loop they unnecessarily added lyrics to Shinsuke Nakamura's entrance music when he turned heel I'm just saying there's a they 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 have they have a lot more bad songs than they have good songs because the only because every time I see people talk about uh, CFOs, they only mention they only talk about Nakamura's theme, AJ Styles, um, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, uh, Finn Balor, uh, Bobby Roode, Adam, the Undisputed Era. I was like, I'm not gonna say Adam Cole. That shit was that shit was disgusting. Pete Dunne's first theme, um, whatever else that they had there, you know. But, um, yeah, um, I'm not going to speak on the Kenny Omega stuff about the Rossi Ogawa stuff, uh, cause that is just fucked. So, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to really speak on that or the Viva la Rasa. Um, I, I went into my Conan mode there a second ago. I don't know why, but, uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah. That's basically it of the uh, the big uh, dream uh, not dreams <laughs> the big um, news that took place before, during SmackDown was the big was the releases. Um, as far as I know here, um, so, yes, but all 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 three talents do have a nine day not compete. Uh, so. So there is that. Uh, we'll talk about the tag team title stuff in a little bit because that was pretty cool stuff there. Um, some news on, uh, let's see, news on the draft. Uh, Truck Williams going to be uh, presented as the face Ooh, excuse me, of NXT. Uh, the draft is next week. Um, I don't, I'm still... Uh, I may or may not do a uh, a mock draft next week. I'll find out. I'm going to see if anybody wants to do a mock draft with me next next weekend uh, or next week somehow. Uh, But uh, stuff. Before I get into the SmackDown review here, um, you may have noticed that I have didn't do a Dynamite review this week. Um, I'm thinking of cutting AW's. Reviews from my, from the, uh, from the lineup that I do, mostly because mostly, mostly, most mostly re- because the I, I looked at the the views on my on my channel for the for the uh, uh, of the uh, Dynamite AEW reviews in general also include this includes the pay-per-view reviews they don't do very well at all like my my non WWE content that I do on that on the on the podcast which is which is you know Stardom and sometimes uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling does a lot more views than AEW Dynamite and AEW Rampage or AEW Dynamite and, and the AEW pay per views. So maybe going forward, I'm probably just gonna keep the AEW. Uh, stuff to the Sunday Pilot Driver Pulse show. So that is what I, that's probably that's probably what I'm going to keep uh, doing that as. Um, so there's that. Um, I don't really have much on the 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 font of. Or the front of 
Oh, so was it the QR code stuff? Because I ha- I haven't really looked into it yet. I don't know. I, mean, I gotta look into it and see what they're going on about. But apparently, Uncle Howdy was in the most recent QR code video in there somewhere. Uh, they did release the trailer to uh, Mighty Ubutani's uh, biopic Runaway Wrestler that features uh, the likes of Shiri Momokogo and uh, Kyrie, who I believe is playing Kyrie, maybe. Um, and the current, I believe, one of the uh, Stardom Ring announcers is playing the role of Mobile Watanabe from her run in the Queen's Quest. So that should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, uh, they release they release that movie internationally somehow because I I would love to see that movie. Um, big, Momo, I'm a big uh, Mayu Uitani fan, so there is that. So there is that. So now let's go into I must have Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown. Here we go. So, SmackDown opened up with the number one contenders match for the WWE Championship at Backlash. AJ Styles defeated LA Knight in a a decent match. Maybe a little bit better than their previous match, though, but AJ Styles will be getting the championship match with Cody Rhodes at, at Backlash in the main event. First time ever match here. Uh, so at one point, Styles ducks a lariat from LA Knight. Both men take each other out with dual cross bodies. Both men struggle to get to the feet. They trade blows, staggering each other back and forth. Uh, Knight gets momentum as Styles holds it with a throat thrust. Unloads with a flurry of offense, uh, but... Uh, L.A. Knight comes back with a pubbles him in the corner. Uh, Knight hits a huge running knee into the corner. Styles gets Styles on the top rope. Knock, uh, N- L.A. Knight gets knocked off, but leaps back up to his suplex for a new, new, uh, near fall in Asia. Styles. Uh, Styles counters a hit. To, uh, Styles hits a moonsault DDT for a near fall. Near the end of the match, uh, uh, L.A. Knight. It's a standing elbow drop. Knight signals for the blood force trauma. Uh, the blood force trauma, the BFT. Uh, Styles retreats to the apron. Styles snaps uh, Knight onto the uh, the uh, thing. Hits him with another forearm. Hits the phenomenal forearm and gets the win here. AJ Styles will go on to challenge uh, Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship at Backlash. That should be an excellent match. It's, it's the first time ever match for AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes. Uh, it's, it's nice to see uh, the WWE champion uh, defend the championship with a B-level pay-per-view. <laughs> so there's that. We see a recap of Tama Tonga's debut from last week in the parking lot. Uh, Solo Sokolo r- r- arrived in, in an F- a SUV. Paul Heyman greets him and compliments the suit. Solo introduces Heyman to Tama Tonga, who who uh, Solo, without breaking glare at Heyman, asks if Kevin Owens is in attendance. He repeats himself, and Heyman tells him he's in the locker room. Heyman lean, leads Solo and Tama into the arena. So this is a weird thing. I don't know why they, they, they randomly just attack, just uh, starting something with Kevin Owens here. I mean, it's not like Kevin Owens had anything to do with uh, Roman Reigns or the uh, Roman Reigns losing at WrestleMania two weeks ago. So, <laughs> so like, you know, it's not like they did that or anything. I'm, mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, just saying, just, just throwing it out there. We have new. WWE Tag Team titles unveiled as Nick Aldis brings out Triple H, who hopefully, this is, <laughs> as much as I'm loving what, doing, what Triple H is doing, I don't want to keep seeing him on television every week. I get it. It's the Triple H era. I, I, I get it. It's a new era. 
but this new era should be you not being on television every week. So, Grayson Waller and, uh, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory come down to the ring. They have presented with the new tag team titles. They show some shit, whatever. Oddly enough, um, Nick Aldis was going to try to fire them, <laughs> which is weird considering uh, that w- stuff that was happening earlier on in the in the uh, show or during the show rather. I wouldn't be doing that if I was you. That is just that is just me. Um, but again, that is just me. So, now, let's talk about the new tag team titles. Fightful Select had a post up on this earlier today. Thing, and I quote, an update on the SmackDown tag team titles this past week's Raw. This past week on Raw, new tag team titles were presented to Miz and R Truth making and then the world tag team champions we were told we're told that that there are that there is a plan in place to do the same for Austin Theory and Grayson Waller which would see them get updated tag team title designs the last we heard the plan was to call them the WWE tag team titles instead of the SmackDown tag team titles which has been confirmed this helps prevent any issues regarding of the draft and avoiding any an, an awkward uh, trading of championships. The current lineage of the SmackDown Tag Team titles goes back to the uh, when the brand split, brand split was reinstated in 2016. The set of titles on Raw go back all the way to 2002 when the original champions Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit held those uh, no, not those championships when they won, I believe. I believe, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. When did, when did they win those titles? It, it might have been SmackDown that they won those titles. Was paper. No, it's No Mercy. They won, but who'd they beat? Was it, was it Edge and, and Mysterio? Yeah, Ed, Benoit and uh, Kurt Angle beat Edge and Mysterio to win the, inaugural world tag, uh, tag team titles back in 2002. So, so yeah. Uh, uh, so there's that. The, uh, the lineage of the original WWF tag titles from 1971 ended in 2010. So, so yeah. And they looked beautiful. They looked like a cross between, it was like a mixture of the the, smack, the old school SmackDown tag team tiles from the ruthless aggression era, but also the, the like I said, the old school WWF era, and a mixture of the with a mixture of the world tag team tiles that Raw introduced in 2002. Uh, when yeah, was it 2002? Was it 2002 or 2003? Whenever they had those championships, basically the championships that RVD and Kane held at one point. So yeah. Uh, we got. We found out we have a fatal four way to turn to, to to determine the number one contenders. That ended up being the Street Profits. Um, I don't know. I wish they would not do the the Nation of Domination taunt. That just looks very bad on the part of Triple H. There, match was fine. Um, you know, for some reason, I, as much as I, I, I like the Street Profits. I have no desire to see them as tag team champions together. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know why. I just, just this, just, they kind of, which is, the weird thing is they turned them heel, right? Uh, when they turned them heel against, who the fuck they turned them heel against? Who, who did they turn the, turn the Street Profits heel against? Let's find out. Street Profits. Who did they turn them heel against? Right? I'm trying to look here. So. Uh, 
Yeah, so they so they turned him heel, beating up Anderson and Gallows and and the brawling brutes, right? And then and then for whatever reason, that didn't last very long because then they went back to being baby faces. So I think they're baby faces. I don't know. They haven't really specified. Now they're feuding with the the final testament. That's going nowhere. They're get, they're getting ready to go to the back to NXT. Um, so I don't know. I don't have a clue. Uh, so who knows at this point? Who knows at this point? So I mean, uh, match was fine though. Uh, I would still like to see Pete Dunne in the title debate with the tag team titles. I think I am fully. I fully think that DIY is going to win the tag team titles on Raw. Uh, uh, to probably establish more, this is Triple H's era. Uh, because right now, if you look at who the current champions are, outside of Logan Paul, everyone else, well, outside of Logan Paul and Austin Truth. Everyone else is 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 stopped from the new. Uh, okay, awesome truth. Sure, they win the tag team titles under Triple H, the Triple H era. But if we want to fully get what get get move away from the Vince McMahon era of WWE, putting the tag titles on uh, the world the the world tag team championships on on a. Uh, on DIY, you start taking the title off of, off of Logan Paul, putting you on LA Knight, and then taking the titles off of A-Town and Down Under on, for somebody else. For because let's be real, uh, Grayson Waller technically is a feels like is more of a uh, is more of a Vince McMahon creation because Grayson the original Waller's character was it was created in Vince McMahon's NXT. Let's be real. Let's be 100% on that. Um, I don't... I don't know. I just have no interest in seeing the, the, the Street Profits versus A-Town Down Under uh, whenever they do that match. They didn't say when they're doing that match. Uh, I'm surprised they're not doing it at Backlash. I mean, they might do it at Backlash. I don't fucking know. Uh, as far as I know, they're not doing it at Backlash. They may change it. Uh depending on who you ask, but, um, yeah. You see Bailey backstage, uh, appreciates her, he's talking about how she appreciates her title now, more now that Rhea uh, vacated the championship. As you guys know, Rhea Ripley was forced to vacate the world, oh, her world championship due to injury. Um, we'll be gone for a couple months. Uh, speaking of people are, are gone, that was another thing I want to, I dress here uh, while we're while we're speaking of injuries here. Uh, Becky Lynch, who was in the uh, the vignette promo package to promote how they're gonna lazily determine a new w- women's world champion, she was on a show uh, and did an interview. I believe she, I believe she is in. Yeah, I believe she's overseas in the UK with Cody Rhodes and them for the WWE's UK tour. Uh, she confirmed that after WrestleMania, uh, Seth Rollins went and got surgery done on his torn meniscus. Uh, something that he said he was going to fight through WrestleMania through, and he did. And uh, so there you go. So Seth Rollins will be out for a bit. Um, uh, he has earned his his rest uh heal up uh and come back stronger than ever uh so yeah so there's that oh uh, unfortunate news uh happened during uh new japan news i want to because i might as well just bring up injury news right now over here uh so so uh let me see if i can bring up the the stuff on Let me see. Let me see if I can find 
the big news about. So, Yo, yesterday, uh, it was announced that Yo was pulled from the best of the Super Juniors due to a, I believe it was a, I believe it was, what was it? Hold on a second. Let me, see if we, let me see if we can find it here. Yo was pulled from... Was pulled, let me see. Oh, I got to find the tweet here. Give me a second. There we go. Yeah, so Yo uh, was pulled from the Best of the Super Juniors tournament due to a uh, uh, dislocation in the left shoulder and torn labrum. It was announced... Not yesterday. It was no. It was yesterday. Was it? It was earlier that morning. Later on that day, it was announced that Kushida would be taking his spot in the tournament. Then we found out, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, Taguchi uh, will miss the Dun Duntaku uh, series as a result of injuries sustained in a motorcycle accident. Um, which again, Speedy recovered to both Yo and Taguchi. Um, That does suck for them. Uh, so those are those those are our injury news updates when it comes to um, certainly for that. So I do feel bad for when uh, for all those things there, uh, but all that stuff. Uh, so basically, our, so back to Bailey. She says that she will remain WWE champion heading into the WWE draft that is next week. Uh, Paul Heyman apologizes that uh, that he can't find uh, Kevin Owens solo. Silently walks to gorilla position. Uh, Heyman begs him to stop making decisions that are not his to make. Solo asks Heyman if he's done. Solo's music plays. And so makes his way to the down to the ring. So does Paul Heyman. Uh, Paul Heyman's trying to, to to speak before he can say anything here because because the fans started telling you want Roman, which is I was stunned by that as my, myself. So Sako is trying to speak out of nowhere. Um, Kevin Owens has been thrown out to the to the inter, through the entrance way. But who better who to, to follow him is one Tama Tonga. Uh, you see Kevin Owens covered in blood, uh, ha- paying, having his little homage to John Moxley. Uh, they, the, all of these people start brawling here until uh, the bloodline get the upper hand on Kevin Owens, leaving him in a pool of his own blood. Uh, the security guys try to come out here now, and so does Nick Aldis. Um, when we come back from break, Nick Aldis takes Paul Heyman's hand, arm and brings him to the parking lot where two cars uh, have been wrecked by Tama Tonga and Kevin Owens. Uh, and uh, Heyman tells, or not Heyman, Aldis tells Heyman to get the bloodline in order by the draft, or else there will be consequences. Uh, so, in order, so basically, Tama Tonga did it for The Rock. I <laughs> did it for Solo. You know, when Rikishi did it for The Rock, uh, Tama Tonga did it for Solo Sokoa. Um, was not expecting a, a attempted vehicular homicide <laughs> on the show again. Man, think about man. I tell you, WWE's back. We got we got blood, fucking people talking about little dick syndrome. Um, the Rock saying "fuck" on television multiple times. Um, um, vehicular homicides. Um, <laughs> um, new championship titles. I mean, the fuck? What's going on? Boom! Every business is booming. Unfortunately, Canada sucks. <laughs> according, according, listen, I don't make the rules. I, I blame Canada for that one. Uh, Canada ruined the 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 consecutive uh, sellouts that WWE was doing uh, because uh, 
it come come to find out Canada does not like professional wrestling as much as I thought they would. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Don't 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 uh don't you know sue me or crucify me in that. Curlio versus Santos Escobar. This match was fucking randomly thrown together. Uh, Santos Escobar gets a win after outside interference. Basically distractions and all that shit. Uh, so that was nothing too homer. Too, you know. Uh, by the way, um, let me see if I can find the, uh, the Women's World Championship here. If I can find who is being advertised for that uh, thing. Give me a second. Let me look this up here. Becky Lynch. Because I, I went, I look up the name. I must look up the look up the names of the people in this uh, match, or not, aver, or not in this match, but the, the two names that are advertised for this. Uh, the names. If I got find the names, give me a second here. Uh, actually, you know, I just go. I'll just unfortunately go to Russell Talk because I, I listen. I like Russell Talk. I really do. But they are weird. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. So the names in the clip were as followed before, unfortunately, before people were released. We're not counting, we're not counting Zylee as Zylee was released here. Uh, but uh, Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Nia Jax, Maxine Dupree, Chelsea Green, Natalia, Katonic Chance, Indy Hartwell, uh, Zoe St- oh, oh, ow. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. I, I sorry, uh, my 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 arm decided to or not my arm my my knee decided to go. Uh, uh, hey, I'm gonna spaz out. <laughs> sorry about that. Ah, knee spaz down and and, and that fucking hurt. Um, Katana Chance, Indy Hartwell, Zoe Stark, uh, Caden Carter, Shayna Baszler, uh, Candice LeRae, Tegan Knox, Piper Niven, and Ivy Nile. Um, uh, I don't like how they're just going to give this a, a, a battle royal. You could have, like I said, you could have given a, like a, um, a full on, I would have been okay with like a gauntlet or something like that. Right. Uh, battle royal is such a lazy thing to do. Right. But they're doing it. I mean, if 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 their if their gauntlet thing is is or not the gauntlet if they do a battle royal and then use that as an excuse to uh, write home that Liv Morgan didn't actually beat anybody to win that championship. That that is something. That is something I can see them doing, but uh, I hope not though. I hope that's not what they do. They might. We'll find out uh, when that happens. So, uh, but main event. Uh, they didn't really announce anything else for SmackDown. All we know is next week it's the draft. They really haven't. Didn't, they really haven't announced anything for next week's SmackDown other than the draft. As the first night in the draft, we do know that. NXT will be eligible, not eligible to be drafted, but people from Raw and SmackDown will be eligible to be drafted to NXT. So uh, this could be very well the last night we see damage control. I'm, I'm hoping, praying to whatever God exists in the WWE creative uh, creators writing room. And that includes your plate that EO, Kyrie, Asuka, and Dakota Kai are drafted to a different show than Bianca Belair. <laughs> because I am sick and fucking tired of this damn storyline. The storyline has been going on for two fucking years and I'm over it. I'm over it. Naomi and Bailey had a, f- a fine match. Uh, nobody won because Tiffany Stratton came out. 
they they changed their music back to the Def Rebel music. Uh, at this point, I think Def Rebel is just making fun of the people who want them fired. You know, whatever. Uh, but it looks like they're going to do a triple threat match at Backlash. Um, this better not be a shitty way just to get the title off of Bailey after you just put the title. What a shitty way. If they did that, what a shitty undermining ha- tactic that would have been to Io Shirai, too. Who, in my opinion, had the better reign out of e- out of Rhea. I love Rhea Ripley. I really do. But Io Shirai was on television more than Rhea Ripley. Having, Rhea, Io Shirai had more matches on television than Rhea Ripley did. I'm sorry. Io Shirai, to me, had a better title run. Io Shirai had a better WrestleMania match than Rhea Ripley, and I love Rhea. But again, that would be that would be a shit way to do it if they if they have Bailey lose the championship in a tri- in a triple threat match after just winning the title. That would be that would be bullshit there. But uh, yeah, nothing. Like, I didn't like nothing else about SmackDown was like too riveting. I mean, it was fine. It was fine for what it was. Uh, a lot of people didn't care about uh, SmackDown after. The news of the of the, of the releases came out, um, but but yeah, hopefully, hopefully when I end this when I end this this review, I better not go on to Twitter or something and say see more uh, more. Oh, this person's been like yo, I'm like because if that happens, I'm gonna fucking throw something from somebody at somebody. So. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, what am I doing this weekend? I'm going to be watching Dynasty. I will not be reviewing it as a, as a, as a standalone a event. Um, unfortunately, uh, I just I don't know. Just my heart's not into re- reviewing AEW uh, anymore, especially if 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 the if the, if, the, if I don't if I'm not getting very much views out of it. Um, than I am with with WWE, because uh, if you because like if you go to my channel, right my uh, my channel here, and let's go to the most popular my most popular uh, videos, my 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 top my top six I could one let's see four my top eight uh, reviews is is WWE and the New Japan Stardom crossover show. <laughs> like, come on now, right? Come on. Um, like, the, uh, unfortunately, the, my, my most viewed AEW Dynamite review was unfortunately the, the review where Jay White, not Jay White, Jay Briscoe passed away. Um, other than that, like, and everything, and, and, and other than that, and also my startup reviews, like, I did one Ring of Water review, sure, it, it did 362 views, but, you know, I didn't, I stopped watching the fucking product, because it just doesn't interest me. I watch, I still watch AEW, but I just, I just, they don't give me a reason to review the show. Tony Khan's bullshit that he does on social media, but outside of like the shit he the shit he said the day, or not the other day during yesterday during the during the during the, I think it was a media call saying, saying, oh well we'll have to look into it about the CM Punk thing. I'm like motherfucker, you're the boss. You should know whether or not you paid for CM Punk's surgery well, uh, two years ago. That's not his, that's, what? Whatever, anyways. Um, anyway. Anyway, I, that, that shit annoyed me as, as much as anything else here. But, uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, but I will talk about it on the Pile Driver Pulse. Uh, I'm gonna review. Gonna wait until that show is over to talk about that. Uh, going to whatever detail it is. I'm sure the match. I'm sure the show will be great. Um, uh, 
I will actually get in. You know what? Since I didn't do my uh, predictions, since I didn't do a review on, on, on Wednesday, I'm going to do my quick predictions here for AEW Dynasty, which takes place on Sunday night. Uh, unfortunately, and I... <laughs> this... The acclaimed have got to be the worst trios trio champions of all time. But the, they should just they should just never took the titles off the House of Black. I'm sorry. I keep telling I keep saying this. The wrong people won at All In. I fuck Billy Gunn. I don't give a shit how if you fuck Billy Gunn. He don't need no goddamn win at, at his age. He is he is what the fuck hell is it? dude is sixty years old and you're giving this man. Fucking title matches? Fuck out of here. Jay White went from a, a horrible fucking main event with, J, with MJF, which, right, which, and that fucking thing told me to get, take the title off of MJF immediately because that was some bullshit. Secondly, Jay White, I don't think, has actually appeared on, on a pay-per-view outside of, since signing with the AEW, outside of All In. Like, all, outside of maybe two fucking shows. This is a winner-take-all match for, yeah, they're, they're, getting, they're probably getting rid of the ROH six-man tag titles because, you know, Tony Khan is such a fucking genius. I swear to Christ, if, if Jay White and the and if, if Bullet Club Gold lose to the fucking acclaimed on Sunday, I'm gonna blow a gasket again. I'm just saying, I'm going to blow a fucking gasket if that happens there. Did they did they even win? Oh, they must have because they're still the champions. So I'm going with Bullet Club Gold. If they put if they put the ROH tactiles on fucking the acclaimed two, the acclaimed most importantly, Max Caster can go fuck himself. For some odd reason, Trent Beretta is facing Matt Sadal. Trent Beretta is doing a heel turn. He's he's hater of the year. He's doing some cool stuff with whatever he's doing. Uh, he should win here. Orange Cassidy and Katsuyori Shibata for some reason is taking on. Shane Taylor and Lee Moriarty. Actually, it's not. Well, they kind of set that up on, on Dynamite. Uh, um, I'm going to go with Shane Taylor promotions just just because of the Trimbarada stuff there. Uh, the bank card. I'm, I'm personally going with House of Black to get the win here so we can, A, get Malachi Black to face Adam Copeland for the TNT Championship at the next pay-per-view, which is Double or Nothing, B, I just, I, I think um, House of Black should be winning matches more. I'm just saying. Uh, especially before, because I'm, I'm telling you now, when that man's contract is up, Malachi Black is going back to WWE and going back to, uh, to somebody who actually appreciates his talent. Hook versus Chris Jericho for the TN, what? Why? Don't care. Hook better fucking win. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking find Chris Jericho and be, and and uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what I, I would I would do to Chris Jericho and Eric because uh, I don't want to get canceled. But Chris Jericho could go fuck himself too. Um, this should be a very very good match. Kyle O'Reilly challenging Roderick Strong for the t- for the international championship. Uh, I would love nothing more for Kyle O'Reilly to win, uh, but they kind of set us up for Roderick Strong. Uh, Roderick Strong's doing some good stuff here. I'm I'm gonna go with Roderick Strong. I wouldn't mind Kyle O'Reilly getting the win here. Uh, I just I just I just miss seeing Kyle O'Reilly wrestle. Um, Will Knight Gill's probably gonna win the TBS Championship just because they set up the most obvious fucking bullshit with Mercedes and Monet who. Who, for some reason, is getting a championship match before I, whatever. Um, I know, I know they're going to do that with Julia too in the WWE. I get it. Um, 
But the problem here is Julia has been wrestling matches, regardless if she's had her debut with WWE yet or not. She's wrestling matches. She's going to be wrestling for Noah next month. I am going to be watching that show. I want to see that six woman tag match. Just to see, just the thought of seeing Julia and, and Utami in another promotion. It's weird to me. Um, Will Nightingale's going to win the fucking TBS championship and then they're going to give it to Mercedes Monet. A match that should also steal the show. Kazuchika Okada defending the AEW Continental Championship against the Bastard Pack. I'm going to go with a Okada retention here. Um, but this should be an instant classic. Uh, this is a first time match. First time ever match for me too. Um, and who ever would have thought I would thought like I would see there's like three match of the year candidates on this fucking card. <laughs> Four actually if you want to count the, the main event. Um so yeah. Actually five if you want to count yeah, we'll talk about it here. Uh, the Young Bucks is probably gonna win the tag team titles in the ladder match here. They have that as oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, that's another thing. They 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 really thought the the CM Punk uh Airing the CM Punk Jack Perry footage is just going to make people come back the following week to watch Dynamite. Nope. <laughs> the people who tuned in just for the Jack Perry CM Punk stuff did not come back letting, no, this week. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe, maybe, yeah. It looks like CM Punk is the draw, is your draw, and your biggest draw, and you just let him go. Rightfully so, but my point is, you're still using his name to try to draw a fucking rating. Anyways. Timeless Tony Storm, who had her best match under this gimmick with Azumi on, on Collision this past week, will defend the AEW Women's World Championship against Thunder, Thunder Rosa. I was I a Thunderstorm. And then I remember that. I think that's, I think that's another story. I think Thunderstorm was... The name of their of their of their, of their uh, tag team. I don't see Thunder Rosa winning the championship here, um, mainly because they have planned in place for Tony Storm to eventually go against Mina Shirakawa, most likely at Forbidden Door, uh, and I don't know what they're going to do. They may do a go back to a rematch with Deanna Perazzo or somebody at uh, Double or Nothing. Uh, we don't know. But I'm going to go with Tony Storm here. Hopefully, this is a good match. Thunder Rosa is great. Tony Storm, when she is, when she wants to actually not be a character in the ring and actually professionally wrestle, she's really good at it too. So this should be good, hopefully. Um, but I'm not holding my breath because uh, uh, she may not bring stardom Tony Storm to the to the in ring ex- aspect on Sunday night. Will Ospreay, Brian Danielson. This is a tough one. Um, that is a tough one. I don't know who to actually win this match because I love Will Ospreay. I love Brian Danielson. I lo- I know a lot of people were going on about uh, who is better. Uh, you know, Will Ospreay. You know, Will Ospreay kind of shat on Dave Belzer, which is hilarious uh, about the whole five star rating stuff here. I um, mean, he said he bet, and he said, you know, you know. Uh, Dave Meltzer is, is an asshole. Everyone's got one. Uh, he don't think he... It, 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 basically about Kurt Angle. If, he, he's not, he, if Kurt Angle doesn't have any five-star matches, why should I care? Basically. Um, so, you know. So basically, from my so basically what he said was, fuck Dave Meltzer's five-star rating. Uh, so Kurt Angle is a five-star athlete professional wrestler. Go fuck yourself, Dave Meltzer. Uh, mm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with, well, that depends. I don't know if they want to want to run it back or not. That all depends here. I'm going to go with Will Ospreay on that one. And then what I'm presuming, I'm presuming is the main event of the show. Um, I'm presuming it's the main event of the show. I don't know. Uh, Samoa Joe, Swerve Strickland for the AEW World Championship. I would love nothing more for Swerve Strickland to get the AEW Championship. However, 
part of me part of me feels like hmm part of me feels like they're going to oof um Oh man. Uh, uh, I don't know. As much again, as much as I would love for for a swerve circling to win the championship, something tells me they're just gonna keep it on Samoa Joe for MJF to come back. Or or whenever they want to heal up. And I, I think I think it doesn't matter who wins. Eventually, I think Adam Cole is going to win the AEW championship, and they're going to, for some reason, try to do all that shit again. I don't know. Ooh, that's... Oh, man. Um, hmm. 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 That's a, ooh. I'm I, I'm torn on that one. I am torn on that one. Um. For all right, safe option. I'm gonna go with with. Hmm. Man, I don't know. I oh, this is to, I'm tough. This is tough. I say, if Hoffman, I'm gonna go with some Mojo retaining the championship. I don't know why. I don't know why that's gonna be. I don't know why that's in my safe option, but I'm going with it, and that's gonna be my answer. Samoa Joe uh, to retain the AEW championship. Uh, but I'll let you guys know if I got any of these correct these predictions correct on Sunday night when we do the review right here on B Pile Driver Pulse. Uh, so I've been Matt the Misfit. This will be the Misfit Wrestling Podcast until Sunday night. We are out. <laughs>